on go poor little things uh, making a good recovery though the daily mail's front page reads like this 646 this thursday morning the news headlines that you're waking up to now hundreds of people now going to try and get the old gray matter working this morning you ready for this yes good good uh now do you know what year the battle of hastings took yes place? yes but you are not you are a square weren't you uh, well it's the only subject i was half good okay. at actually what about this was it the black plague or was it the red death it was the black plague OK, can you remember that? Yes. <laughs> well, there are concerns these days that many teenagers aren't aware of big British events despite studying history in school. And one historian believes that secondary school pupils are being taught too much about the likes of Hitler and not enough about subjects such as the English Civil War. So we decided to put Britain to the test. I was just saying, actually, you went up to the world. Well, it was the other way around. You ran out of time at school. I was infuriated because we, I, I, did, I know everything you need to know about Ethelred the Unread. Yeah, because, of course, characters such as Hitler horrendous as they were, are also very interesting, aren't they? I know that you work at Hampton. Things that would actually be really interesting, but as well this morning. What do you think is missing from history lessons today? Email us uh, via gm.tv. I used to love uh, learning about the Egyptians, nothing to do with British history, but I just think that was amazing. But you didn't take it at all, have you said? No, nope, I didn't. I just stopped up. at 14. Oh, stopped history at 14. You couldn't those days. Anyway, uh, let's move on. Richard uh, is here after the break with uh, some showbiz news, and after 7 o'clock this morning, the multi-talented... Welcome back. Uh, four minutes to 7 is the time to... TV's Richard Arnold. Revival is in full swing. Holding out for a hero? Yes. I'm sure you still are. Absolutely. Yeah. Will they be able to beat it? What do you reckon? I don't know. It's such it, well, a brilliant film. They're similar, don't they? They do look very similar, but very, very yeah. beautiful uh, young lass blossoming. Uh, yeah. He is a very he's good a actor. He's commercial. I'm very impressed He's with acted with um, Kate Blanchett. Yeah, yeah. It? Yeah. He's in my top ten. So that. Good to see you. Yeah. See you later on. <laughs> Thank you. Good don't casting. <laughs> All that to come also this morning. She's the Hollywood film as well. Anyway, first to our top story this morning. The parents of the baby twins attacked by a fox in East London have been speaking out about the shock of finding the girls injured in their cot and of the fear that it could happen again. Michelle Morrison reports now. This I'd like to know uh, where you stand on uh, this morning's row over mm. school meals. The health secretary has said Jamie Oliver's campaign for healthy school dinners hasn't worked and there needs to be a new approach to tackle obesity. Well, he's certainly angered a few people, yeah. including Jamie Oliver himself. Also, Prue Leith, you're going to be chatting to him right, in a few minutes. Where you are. Right. Thanks very much, Dee, for coming in. Good. It is a 16 minutes past seven. The news headlines that you're waking up to now this morning. The